And they are lurking in the darkness. Some in the busiest neighborhoods of Dallas, the cooler temperatures have coyotes moving through yards. And that is certainly unsettling for a lot of people who have pets. Ken Malacena live in the lower Greenville section of Dallas to talk more about this. Yeah, Kaylee, and you know, this is the area where just a couple of nights ago, the neighbors out here saw a couple of the coyotes walking around here. I spoke to experts who say with the cooler temperatures that we've had in the last couple of nights, you can expect to see more coyotes roaming the streets out here. They were just sniffing around, scratching. Um, didn't seem to mind that we had the lights on them whatsoever. It's a bit blurry, but you can see two coyotes in Brian Dixon's picture. The two coyotes ended up in this house in the yard right here. The snapshot taken a few nights ago was posted onto a Facebook neighborhood page where someone else had already posted another photo also warning of coyotes roaming lower Greenville and Lakewood streets. Now that it's cooler, they'll be out in Bright Bonnie Bradshaw runs 911 Wildlife, the company Dallas contracts to handle coyote problems. She says these coyotes are native to urban settings and they're thriving. According to her, the cooler temperatures we've seen the past few nights are bringing them out in search of food. Their primary source of food is rats and squirrels and rabbits. Right. And there's 50 times more of those prey items in a residential neighborhood. But neighbors like the Dixons worry the coyotes may come after small pets like dogs and cats. Clearly they're hungry because they're, they're here. They're out and hanging around. Bradshaw says coyotes are afraid of humans and people should make it clear to them that their presence isn't wanted. The number one thing to do if you see a coyote is to clap your hands, wave your arms, shout at it. Act like the dominant animal. And coyote experts warn that the coyotes like to hide underneath uh, decks and underneath sheds. Uh, so keep that in mind in case you do come across one. They're asking uh, folks out here in the lower Greenville area as well as the Lakewood neighborhood to call Dallas's 311 service and report that coyote sighting. We're live in lower Greenville. Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Ken